Well, I moved around a lot. I lived in Holly Grove when I was younger, but I didn't stay there very long. I spent a lot of time just drawing on the porch and stuff like that. Um, after that, I moved to Gentilly. I kind of spent a lot more of my younger years there. And then after the hurricane happened, I moved to like, well, like outside of New Orleans, you know what I'm saying? Like St. Rose and stuff like that. But uh, definitely the Katrina changing was the, the biggest thing. The fact that I moved around so much because I feel like my life trajectory would be all the way different if I had stayed in New Orleans or Katrina didn't happen. Cause I was at, I was at Brother Martin, which is like a white school. And I went from being there and still doing art, but then moving all over and, and experiencing way different stuff than I probably would have if I had stayed in that environment. So, I mean, everything is different. Man, shoot, cutting hair, painting, rapping, songwriting, dancing, building sets, the mural work, glass work, all type of work, slight work, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, <laughs> everything, man. Art goes all over the place, and I've definitely dabbled in a bunch of different areas, you know. I've, I've been drawing since I was really young. When the hurricane hit, I moved to St. Rose, Louisiana. That's where I started bounce dancing. I was doing that heavy for like a good seven years or so. And y'all can check me out on YouTube on that too. No. But um, then I did music in college and I just went all over the place with a, with a group of talented um, individuals and just learned a lot about music. So I've jumped all over the place. They all the way inspire what I do with hair. Um, it wouldn't have been if, unless I started drawing that I would have even started cutting hair in the first place. I literally do artworks in people's hair, so just being able to do the hair wouldn't be as special to me if I wasn't able to bring it back to how it was on paper or something like that, yeah. Well, I first started cutting hair when I was like 12, 13. I just started cutting my own hair. So then I do friends hair for free at first and then charge a little bit and then over time I just got better at it. And about two years ago I ended up here. I got this internship program so I've been a full time barber ever since, you know. I just take different shapes that I've seen. Lately I've been doing a lot of stuff with African shapes and Native American shapes. It has a lot to do with um, with the history of New Orleans, because that's just uh, the embodiment of over here is like the the collaboration between the Africans that were brought here in slavery and the Native Americans that already lived here, and that creates like the Mardi Gras Indians, and and it's a part of the deep culture that we have. So, and I just like the way they look, so I've been experimenting with that a lot. <laughs> I fall in love with whatever style I'm doing right now. So right now I'm loving the new stuff that I've been doing with the shapes and how I can make them look more three-dimensional and that's just been real fun to me lately. So that's my favorite thing to do right now. Well, I just go, I just take a regular haircut and then I just go further. I feel like all barbers are artists. I just don't stop once the haircut is a haircut. I gotta make it something more than a haircut using the lines and the shading to create, you know, a, a piece of art where hair is already art, it's just an extreme piece of art, you know what I'm saying? Where they used to call me Right Side Ronnie. So with that being said, you can follow me everywhere at Right Side Ronnie, Instagram, Twitter, uh, and Facebook, I'm on there as Ronnie Denson. Y'all can check me out, you know, I'm on all the social medias, you hear me? Do art, y'all, and to all my artists out there, just keep on mastering your craft, because when you do, when you spend time working on whatever you're working on, you could trade it in for all kind of stuff, and then it just gets magical at that point, point. you can enjoy your job. When you can enjoy doing whatever your job is, 
it's a whole nother thing. It's not just a job. It's like a career. It's a lifestyle, you know? So do that. Thank you.